On today's date, May 8th in Canadian history, in 1620, Samuel de Champlain sailed for Canada accompanied by his wife. He had been ordered by Louis XIII of France to stop his explorations and devote himself to the administration of Quebec. He would oversee the growth of New France until his death in 1635. In 1906, American desperado Bill Miner held up a CPR train in Kamloops, but Canada's first train robbery netted Miner only $15. He was captured a few days later. The story inspired the 1983 film The Grey Fox. In 1945, Victory in Europe Day. The Second World War ended in Europe with the unconditional surrender of all German land, sea and air forces. The surrender was signed by the previous day by German envoys in a schoolhouse at Reims, France. In 1984, Canadian Forces Corporal Dennis Lordy sprayed the Quebec National Assembly with machine gun fire, killing three and wounding 13 before surrendering several hours later. He was sentenced to life in prison but was paroled in 1995. And in 1987, Canada unveiled the $1 coin made of nickel, copper and recycled tin. It would quickly be called the loony as it had a depiction of a loon on it. The loony also ushered in the end of the $1 bill in Canada, which was last printed in June of 1989. Like and follow as we will bring you more moments from Canadian history every day. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast, Canadian History with Stephen Wilson, available on most platforms. The latest episode detailing the start and the causes of the War of 1812 is now available.